Hi, I'm Dr. Pradeep Garke. I am a consultant diabetologist from Mumbai, and today I am going to speak on anti-diabetic drugs. What are they? How do they work? So basically, anti-diabetic drugs are medicines which are used for diabetes. They can be broadly divided into two different class. One are anti-hyperglycemic drug, and the other are hypoglycemic drug. So now, what are anti-hyperglycemic drugs? Drugs which reduces your sugar level, but they will not reduce the sugar level to a level below normal. where you will become symptomatic your sugars will start you you will start feeling giddy your 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 hands may tremble you may start getting palpitations so you will not go into hypoglycemia now what are the drugs which are anti hyperglycemic drugs so metformin is a classical example of anti hyperglycemic drug if given even to a non diabetic anti hyperglycemic drugs will not cause low sugar that's the that is the most important thing to remember so metformin is the most important anti hyperglycemic drug pioglitazone then sglt2 inhibitors like canagliflozin dapagliflozin alpha glucosidase inhibitors like acarbos voglibos dpp4 inhibitors like tenagliflozin sitagliflozin vildagliflozin so basically these are different types of anti diabetic uh, drugs which come in the class of anti hyperglycemic drugs now coming to hypoglycemic drugs what are the hypoglycemic drugs predominantly insulin insulin is a drug which can reduce your sugars below normal and hence it is an hypoglycemic drug sulfonylureas all sulfonylureas like glimepirad glycazad uh, glibenclamide these are hypoglycemic drugs uh, similarly meglitinide drugs like rifaglinide and nateglinide these are hypoglycemic drugs so diabetic medications can be broadly divided into these two categories the one thing is for sure that when you are only on anti hyperglycemic drugs the risk of going into hypoglycemia is almost negligible so as far as possible a doctor will try to maintain a patient only on anti hyperglycemic drugs advantage is we you won't go into hypoglycemia because you won't go into unrecognized hypoglycemia or recognized hypoglycemia you will not have tendency to infrequent snacking you will not gain weight so this is the way usually a diabetic patient is managed disadvantages of anti hyperglycemic drug can be sometimes the cost especially the newer type of drugs like sglt2 inhibitors and dpp4 inhibitors and that is why sometimes in poor resource countries like india you have to immediately resort to drugs like sulfonylurea or insulin where the cost of therapy drastically come down but definitely the safety is more warranted with the newer class of drug thank you